Now it's time to write more complicated and nonlinear programs. Usually, operators are executed sequentially, step by step. But now we want to describe conditional constructs that run the needed branch of operators according to the conditional result, true or false. Consider the syntax of the conditional if in the 1C enterprise language. Parts after else if and else keywords are optional. Using this syntax, we can create as many operator branches as we need. So now consider the simple example of using the conditional if. There is only one condition and one operator. The system displays the message only if the logical expression is true. If the logical expression is false, the program skips this part of the code and proceeds to successive operators. Pay attention that this operator in our case is a comparison operator. Equals to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. These operators are binary, requiring two operands, and can return only true or false. Consider the conditional if form with two branches. And after that, we consider the form of the conditional if with three or more branches. Notice that the number of else if conditions is unlimited. So if the first condition is false, the program checks the second condition. If the second condition is false, it applies the operator after else.